I sometimes compare skaters with birds. Most skaters are ducks. The park is full of them. Nothing wrong with ducks. They are adorable. Everyone likes ducks. The only issue I have with ducks is that they do not fly well, and they do not seem to practice flying either. They are always swimming around in the water, looking cute, while begging for free food. What a waste of talent. On the other end of the spectrum, you have seagulls. God created them to fly across oceans, but they prefer the urban landscape. Their wings are huge, meant for big speeds. Yet, they navigate rooftops and streets. Every day, they learn new tricks, be it how to land on balconies and ask for food, or steal food from cats. What wings are to birds, Wheels are to skaters. My new 4x 100mm wheels make me a seagull. The wheels are big and fast, and I can go great distances with ease. Still, only going straight would be a waste of talent. Chaika would not approve. Good skaters on smaller wheels remind me of ravens. I was a raven once. The best skaters on smaller wheels are falcons. Speed skaters, who are fast as lightning, but barely able to stop or turn, are albatrosses. Teens doing jumps and sliding down the rails are the pigeons of Urbania. Enough of analogies. I need to adjust my new larger wings. I mean, wheels. This is the first real session on my new skates. I can make much longer strides with these skates than I could with my old pair. Now it is a lot easier to keep a good flow while preserving energy. For even more speed, I should learn the double push technique. I'm not familiar with this technique, but from Wikipedia I read that. Prior to Chad Hendricks' arrival on the scene in 1992, Inline speed skaters use the classic speed skating technique derived from speed skating on ice. Hendrik's alternative approach, the double push that is, rapidly proved itself to be faster and was soon adopted by many elite skaters. So, obviously it would be great to learn this, but I need to study videos of speed skaters before I give it a try. Here I slide down a slight descent on one skate. It is good balancing practice, not to mention quite tiring to hold this position for some time. I used a GPS to measure the average speed. It was about 20 km an hour. Not too bad. Next up is a technique review. Let's see if I can learn to turn, stop and drop, jump and... Uh, what rhymes with jump? Bump.
the conclusion is that anything I can do on small skates, I can do on these skates too. The speed is higher and it would be nice with more space. But Chaika Seagull never complains that his wings are too big. And neither shall a skater ever use big wheels as an excuse. Here comes a crowd of ducklings. Perfect timing. I will leave the court to them. By the way, is court the right word? Looks like an amphitheater of some sort. I think it's used in the music festival. Every five years there's a song festival in this park. Latvians are some real songbirds indeed. Choirs from all over the world gather to take part in this event. The last event was in 2012 and the municipality put new pavements on many of the paths prior to the festival. So, although I do not sing myself, and frankly do not care much about this event, I do appreciate a lot the renovations they made before the song festival. The park is by the way called the Forest Park, or Mesha Parks in Latvian. The name makes sense, but I prefer the old German name, Kaiserwald, or the Emperor's Forest. The Swedish king Gustav Adolf set up a military camp here in the 17th century. Now I will show you around at four times the normal speed. 